Hi everybody, so I am on my way to Chicago and I'm so excited, aside from the fact that it's thunderstorming while I'm driving and I don't appreciate that so much. Um, I, I really like to drive when it's sunny, I don't know. I'm not complaining because I'm not at work, right? Um, so I just wanted to check in really quick. <clears throat> like I said, excuse me. I'm gonna try to do um, kind of a, I'm gonna try to do a daily vlog and I don't know when they're gonna get up, but anyway, today is Thursday. And I literally left my house like five minutes ago and I was driving along. I'm like, oh, I have to check in. So, um, yeah, I am headed actually to, like I said before, Ikea. And then after that, I'm actually, I have a customer. I have a lot of customers actually in the Chicago area. So I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to take a customer out to lunch, um, do a little business, and then I'll be back on vacation. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm up to. I, ne I did not get time to get my nails done. But um, I do have my nail polish with me, and I will do it tonight at Stevens after I make dinner. Hopefully, that's my plan. Anyway, um, but I, I'm just so excited. I really hope that some of you guys are going to be there. I don't think I've heard from a single subscriber of mine that said they're going to be there. I mean, how much of a dork do I look like that we're having this meetup and nobody's coming? <laughs> well, it'll be all of us, and that'll be just fine. So. Um, and of course, my Twitter is blowing up today with, um, you know, all of us that are going and then other people tweeting us and stuff. So that's been fun to read those. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm on my way. It's raining. I straightened my hair and so now it's going to look crappy by the end of the day because that's what happens to my hair when it's raining and I straightened it. Can you guys see how dark it's getting? It's, I wish I could show you guys. It's 8 o'clock in the morning right now and it's dark. Dark, dark, dark. Okay, I'm gonna go so this isn't eight hours long. I will be back later with something exciting to share, I'm sure. Okay, so first stop of the day is McDonald's for some breakfast, and I thought I would show you guys what I order when I go to McDonald's for breakfast. Um, you know, and I'm trying to be a good girl. I get this, an egg McMuffin, no butter, no cheese. So it's just egg and then the Canadian bacon, which is more obviously leaner than sausage. And I don't actually eat the whole English muffin. I take off the top and kind of eat it, eat it open face because I can't eat all that bread. Um, meaning I physically can't eat all that bread. And then look at me. I'm all quartered up here with my... Ay, yay, yay. Ay. Um, and then I have iced tea, unsweetened, of course, with a little lemon. So that's what I got going on. So... Um, I'm sitting in the McDonald's parking lot right now, just so you know I'm being safe, I'm not being crazy. And, um, so, just checking in, and I will be back with you later. Bye! Okay, so, <laughs> I'm at Ikea, and I've already wandered through the upstairs part to find what I need. And now I'm trying to figure out what in the heck I'm doing here. Aisle 27, bin 22. Okay, so the number... <laughs> Holy moly. This is why I don't, don't come here by myself. I was going to attempt to do it before, to vlog before, but that just did not work. Wait, no. 22. That does not look like what it's supposed to be. Oh, it's because this is aisle 26. <gasps> Kristen, you idiot. All right, I'll come back later. Okay, so I have my two purchases here, which are the two Alex shelves, or drawers, I mean. Holy moly, it's a good thing I'm strong, because these are really heavy. This is why I should do these things with my husband. Come and go check out now. Okay, that, that was an adventure. Oh, holy moly. Nothing like making me feel like I'm a weakling. Um, you know, there should be a better system at Ikea for people that shop by themselves. I'm just saying, you come when you come out, there's nobody around there and you can't, like I was just going to wheel the cart out to my car and just attempt to lift these 70 pound drawers into my car, um, but you can't leave the, you can't leave the loading area with the cart thing. I, I don't understand. Um, so I had to, I sat there for a minute trying to figure it out and then I had to ask a complete stranger in Chicago, could you watch my stuff for me while I go get my car? Um, so she was kind enough and did, and I wasn't too far away. So I got up there, and then, uh, then she had to help me load it because <laughs> there was nobody else to help me. It was, it was very lucky, and God looked over me there and <laughs> took care of me because I didn't know what I was going to do. So now I'm sitting in the parking lot of Ikea. Let me see if I can show you guys. 
Here it is. Um, I am take. I told you before. I think that I'm taking a customer to lunch, so um, he is meeting me in the parking lot, and then I will follow him to wherever we are going to eat. I have no idea. I let I let the customers pick because I don't know anything around from wherever I am visiting customers. So anyway, now you're all caught up on what's going on today. I'm drinking more. This is another container of icy, and I really have to go to the bathroom actually, so I should not be drinking. But that was a workout. Holy moly. I'm sure there's a bathroom in there, but it was at the end when you checked out and I already had my stuff and I'm by myself so nobody could wash my stuff. Do you see a, a, a theme here? Don't go to Ikea by yourself. That's, that's the theme of the vlog. Don't go to Ikea by yourself. You need help. Or somebody should be there to help you. I'm just saying. All right, I'm done rambling now. I'll be back with you later. Hi everybody, so I just thought I would let you know that while I was lost for a little while, I did make it to Steven's house. He is not home from work yet, and I'm going to get going on dinner. Um, I'm just going to make some swordfish, and um, I saw a video actually from this one, I think her name is Danny Spees, I'll link it below actually, the, the video, it was swordfish that was looked really easy, and because fish scares me, I don't really know how to make fish. Um, but it was just swordfish, four minutes on each side, salt, pepper, olive oil. I can handle that. And then, um, I can't remember what she called the salad that went with it, but it was just fresh tomatoes, fresh peppers, fresh um, cucumbers, and then a little bit garlic, salt, pepper. And she had sumac in there, the spice sumac. I couldn't find that anywhere, so I just picked a different spice to throw in there. And then um, a little olive oil, of course. And then it didn't call for it, but I decided it needed some feta cheese, so I picked up some feta cheese, too. So anyway, I'm going to just kind of get going on that. And if I remember to later, I will show dinner after we've done it. And then um, I will probably end this vlog there. So I hope you guys have had a good day. If you don't see me again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so this is dinner. I had a chance to, to film it quick before we sit down and eat. So that is what I made for dinner. This, this is the salad. Doesn't it look yummy? Then you're, you crunch up like uh, pita. You toast these up in the oven, crunch them in there, but because I wanted them to have it for leftovers, I just crunched the pita up underneath and then put it on top. So that's what we're having for dinner. So I probably look like a wreck now because it's the end of the day. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>